Hi everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I am taking a look at this Otterbox Symmetry series case for the iPhone XS Max. And if you know anything about Otterbox cases, um, they have a bunch of different, I guess you would call levels of protection. And I think that the Symmetry is probably the lightest case that they have. So the thinnest case, the most minimal protection from just a durability coverage standpoint, right? So this one, unlike the commuter or the more heavy duty two piece cases where they have all the rubber flaps and covers for the ports and all that, this one is more kind of along the lines of the a slimmer, more basic case, but has the Otterbox quality, right? So very well known brand, very well made case, Etc. So I will link to this in the description uh, where you can get it off of Amazon. Basically, offers obviously drop protection. Most cases that you want to get for your phones, uh, I, I'm always looking for decent protection from dropping it or slipping out of my hand and that sort of thing. Otherwise, I would just carry the phone around naked without anything, but I am <laughs> unlucky in dropping things. So typically always want to have a case on my phone and up until recently i have been using the spigen tough armor cases for both my iphone 10s max and galaxy note 9 and i love those cases very good cases but i decided to you know take a look at the outer boxes uh, so this is an ultra slim one piece design easy on and easy off and we'll just kind of take a look i mean there's not much to this stuff but we'll just kind of do a quick unboxing and take a look so this is, uh, most of the Otterbox cases have some sort of like pattern on the inside. Uh, it's plastic and there's not anything in here that's like rubber or anything like that. The only part of the case that is a little bit more flexible is this outside ring, right? So the, the part that kind of snaps around the phone to, uh, to protect it is a little bit more on the rubbery side versus the rest of it, which is kind of like a harder plastic. Now, I like the Otterbox cases because they are kind of like a matte finish or semi-gloss, right? It's not glossy, super glossy. It's not totally matte. It's kind of like that semi-gloss in between. It resists fingerprints fairly well. You have the Otterbox logo there, cut out on the top for the camera and the bottom for the charge ports, microphone, etc. So, here's my iPhone XS Max. Got a D-brand skin on the back. I'll kind of just pop this on here. Well, this one actually fits pretty tight <laughs> compared to the Spig and Tough Armor case because I just messed up my D-brand skin. So, oops, I guess that kind of sucks. Anyway, so I messed up the skin on the corner when I was sticking it in there. Uh, one thing I also just noticed is if you can see this, I don't know if you can see how well this kind of translates here, but there's kind of like a little bit of a dimple area at the top where the notch goes. And I'm not really sure why that is. Because um, you wouldn't really necessarily need that, I don't think, unless there's some part of maybe one of the sensors or something that it would have covered up if it didn't, uh, if it actually fit all the way around. Not really sure. Uh, but basically, right, obviously you can just snap it in there. Cutouts are pretty well placed, right? You can see their cutouts, the buttons still feel nice for the volume up down, for the power on the other side. Um, very positive feeling very positive feeling button pressure placement touching etc and then uh, you know the, the cutout the cutout for the camera is pretty good except now you can see i got a piece of my <laughs> t-print skin sticking out i'm just gonna end up taking the skin off now which sucks but all right anyways so dbrand skin i removed um that's a total bummer that that happened Okay, so iPhone 
and it actually fits in there a little bit better. The dbrand skin does give it a little bit of um, maybe potentially a little bit more tight fitment on the back of this case versus the back of the Spig and Tough Armor case. Yeah. But everything lines up pretty well. I mean, the holes on the bottom, all well cut. And it does give the face of the phone a little bit of lift off of the ta uh, any table or anything where you place it down. Very, very small lip. I don't even know if you can see this. But it does not have a huge lip, but enough to keep the glass from touching. And I do have a... I do have a glass, tempered glass protector on the front of this that works fine with this case as well. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't lift up the edges or anything like that. So all in all, I mean, this feels like a really good case. I've used, I had a symmetry case in the past on my iPhone 7. And uh, I always liked that. So if you're looking for something that's not, doesn't add too much bulk and you like the OtterBox brand, I would suggest you take a look at this. Again, link in the description. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Let me know. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.